Hey everybody, welcome to Terry's Tesla. And last night I got access to the Tesla full self-driving beta. And I thought I would give you a peek and show you what it's like. Let's take a look. <laughs> So I've got my favorite location saved. I'm just going to go ahead and tap it. And it's um, it's calculating the route to it. It knows where we are. It's, like I said, about 16 miles away. And I'm just going to go ahead and start autopilot, which, you know, the double tap, which would normally do autopilot, but it's now going to do full self-driving. So here we go. Now we're in a cul-de-sac. And so it's navigating its way around the cul-de-sac. There's a car parked over here on the right hand side and now we're going ahead and it's deciding what to do and there was a guy by that car so there was a person there now it wants to make a right turn here at the stop sign so it's creeping forward to do that it saw that there was nothing there and it made this it made the turn now again i'm keeping my hand relatively on the wheel near the wheel um, and I'm also ready to break and do a stop or take over at any given time. And that's the whole point about these betas is that it's not there yet. It's, you're testing the software. You're not ready to take a nap, get in the back seat, all of that stuff, or you may be ready, but it's not ready for you to do all that yet. It is just a beta. So we're making a left turn up here. And again, I'm just letting the wheel guide, you know, slide through my fingertips but keeping a little bit of torque, of course, uh, to let it know that I'm here, but it's making all of these turns, all of these curves on its own. So someone asked me like last night when I got it and I did a quick test drive, what I thought about the full self-driving and my answer was, and still is, it's better than I expected it to be, but it's not smooth yet. So some of these turns like can be very jerky, can be very like, like you think you're about to hit the curb and you're not, but it, it, it's not there yet, if that makes any sense. Like you would make a much smoother turn as a human than uh, full self-driving does on some of these turns. up to the stop sign I see as a human that there's nothing coming in either direction and it's gonna make a right turn here and it's making that right turn all right so this time it needs to go make the second right so it's gonna pass the, oh and here comes a truck here comes another car, so let's see what happens here. The other car is gonna pass me and the truck's gonna go first. And that truck's pulling a trailer in case you can't see that. So it's slowly like, now we're in the intersection now, so it should it needs to be going and not creeping. And that other car got tired of me creeping and it just like went around me. And now we're at a dead stop. Like, like, what are you doing there? Navigation currently unavailable. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and give it a little push. All right, so, it, okay, I, that's it. I just gave it a little acceleration and then it got back on track. There we go, and now we're back to it navigating. So that was kind of where, again, this is why you always need to be paying attention because you never know when it's not gonna know what to do or how to go forward and you need to be in control and ready to take over at all times. My speed for autopilot, which I normally have it set to go nine miles over the speed limit, I had to set it to not do that because with full self-driving, it was making these turns as fast as it possibly could based on the speed limit. So it was like whipping around these turns like that when it did at thinking it could go 45 miles an hour. So it did it. Well, imagine making that turn at 54 miles an hour. So that's what it was doing last night. I was like, whoa. So again, these are all the kinds of things you need to consider when doing full self-driving is that 
it's based on a computer, it's based on mapping, it's based on what it thinks is the case, and it may not be the case anymore. The speed limit changed in this area. And so I have to, and, and the map's not updated, to know that it's now 25 miles an hour instead of 35. So again, it's creeping. Now this is kind of annoying because there's a car behind me and they're probably like, why are you going so slow? And now it's going. Okay, so it's really jerked around that turn and now it wants to go 45 miles an hour. I'm gonna take it back down to 25 miles an hour because again, uh, there's a speed limit up here of 25. right turn thinking we're gonna be straight for a long time so I'll speed that up now there's some workers up here so they're directing traffic and it is making that right turn in front of that worker and kind of slowing down and then moving so this is the not smooth part that I mentioned earlier free and clear to go right now and it's pausing I'm gonna give it a little acceleration so there's a car behind me and it, it's doing it there we go so that was its own left turn I gave it a little bit of a nudge because it was taking too long but uh, otherwise it did execute that left turn a lot smoother than it did right turn so uh, there is that all right, coming up on another left turn. Looks like a busier highway, so this ought to be interesting. This is the kind of testing that I was curious about. Traffic in both directions. Car's gotta decide when it can go, when it can't. Again, car's coming in both directions. And now's a good time to go, and it did it. <laughs> so. That's another great left turn. That was even better than the first one. I didn't have to nudge it to go. All right, so it's again going up to the stop sign, waiting, waiting for the turn, or waiting for our turn, it said. And now it's a four-way stop, so it knows that. And it's like deciding who can go and when. And now it just, or it's deciding when it can go, not who else can go. But it made its turn based on that. And that's another thing I hadn't even thought about is how it handle uh, four-way stop signs. same left that I would I would use and it's up here once you make the left it'll be on the right hand side so it's hanging back making sure that truck got out of our way and then it's going in now it's on the right hand side here and it looks like it's gonna go ahead and turn and it just like okay that it completely screwed that up like that was it just freaked out and was gonna like hit the hit the curb so you know when you hit the brakes and when you take over tesla has access to that to that um maneuver and it can evaluate what happened there all right i'm here i made it it drove 99 percent of the way here and really pretty problem free 
There were a couple of times where I had to nudge it to make it go, where it looked like it was still hesitating, still waiting. Uh, but outside of that, made right turns, made left turns, all the straightaways were great. And it didn't really, what I call, screw up until we actually got into the parking lot. And if I hadn't stopped, it may have hit the curb. And that's the kind of stuff that makes this a beta. It's not finished. It's not really ready for prime time yet. Now, am I impressed? Absolutely. It's way better than I thought it would be. But as I said last night, when people were asking me online what I thought, better than I thought it would be, but not smooth yet. Those turns are still kind of jerky, like it's not sure of itself in a couple of those cases, but way better, again, overall. Um, and I, I can obviously see where this thing's headed, that we're headed to a spot or a place in time where that jerkiness will go away and it will be smooth and it will literally be put the address in and kind of kick back and let it drive you there while you pay attention. But um, you'll have to do hopefully a whole lot less interacting than I did, which was bare minimum. All right, so that's it. That's our full self-driving first test, first time out on a nice long drive. Hope you enjoyed it. If you liked it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button for more content. We'll do more of these as time goes on. Cheers, everybody. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one.